Hey, hey, welcome back to the experience share. My name is Blake and today we're talking about the best of two format Which is a format that you might not be used to It's one that's not played very often However, there's been some talk in the sorcery discord After seeing some of the league match results and you're seeing the go first percentage being at 54% And the question has been hey, what can we do to maybe bring that back down in line? Maybe make it you know where ideally it would be a 50 50. There's no real advantage for for going first versus second and that's really hard to do uh, and so the question comes up of what kind of format should you play in competitive play should you be best of one should you be best of three that's a typical discussion uh, but today i want to talk about the best of two format and how that could be a good compromise a good middle ground for both players so Traditionally, the best of three format, the way that it would work is at the end of a match, whether it's best of one or best of three, the winner of the match gets three match points and those match points get added up. And then whoever has the most match points wins the tournament. And so if you go five and zero, oh, you have 15 match points and that's what would put you in first. If you go four and one, well, then you'd have uh, you'd have what four times three you'd have 12 now so the way that it works is you would get zero match points for a loss one match point for a tie and three match points for a win and that's the standard traditional way that people play is this best of one or this best of three format leveraging those point sets now I don't know if you've heard of this game, but Disney Lorcana, they introduced a, a best of two format. I think they were the first ones of a, we'll call them a relatively major, large trading card game. Roll out a best of two in which players play two games, each have the opportunity to go first. And so there's a coin flip at the very beginning of the match and one player decides who goes first, if they go first in game one, or if they go first in game two. Each game is worth three match points. And so if you win one, you you, know, you, go, you get one, and then the other player would also get one. However, if you win both matches, while yes on the play and on the draw, you're awarded an additional match point. And so that means that you get three for the win, three for the second win, and then a bonus match point to go on top since you won multiple. So you can have up to seven match points per game. And the reason why this comes up is because because of the advantage that you have going first, some people might feel discouraged that it's gonna be really hard for me to win this match or this game if I'm on the play. And it might shape the way that they build their decks, shape the cards that they play in order to match that format, whether that be best of one or best of three. So this best of two format, it doesn't utilize the sideboard. However, it does allow players to be able to both have an opportunity to go first. And then if you win both matches, you get seven points versus three and three if you each win one. And this still rewards players that win the most number of games, but it gives each player an opportunity to go first to kind of balance out that 54 46 win rate percentage. So I'm going to post the, the league results and I'll, I'll go ahead and throw those up right here. And a few matches to, to highlight avatar of error just has a, a huge Delta. If it goes first, it's nine points higher to be able to win avatar of earth. Same thing because this is an aggressive matchup an aggressive deck it has a 10% higher likelihood of winning on the play. Now, as you, you see in this list here, there's a few that have kind of a greater advantage if they go first versus second in this best of two format kind of evens it out. Now, I'm not sitting here suggesting that sorcery goes ahead and switches over to a best of two format today. However, I haven't played in a best of two format tournament and I'd be really interested to see how that would shape up, how that would feel because you get it really competitive since we're even if you had a bad draw and you lost the match, you still have a chance in the next game to earn your match points. But if you're a really skilled player, you can continue to win more than just one game in a row and get the seven match points, which would be better than winning two individual rounds. And so it rewards players for not only winning a match, but winning multiple, you know, in a complete set as well.
I'm curious what you all think in the comments section down below. What kind of format would you want to see com for competitive? Do you like the best of one? Do you want a best of three? Or would you be willing to try this best of two format? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.